Do you know what the worst thing about this setup is? The worst thing is I've got a glass table and back at uni, I used to shoot all my videos without trousers on for some reason. And now I just can't. What? I said I'll clear that away when you're finished. Yeah, it's fine. Don't worry. Don't worry, lad. What is up, you guys? And welcome back to another video. Now, today we're doing a video on shoes and sneak collections because apparently that's what's trending on YouTube. Everyone's doing like sneak collections, check out my Supreme collection, biggest hypebeast collection, suck my dick, watch my YouTube video about this Supreme collection I pay with my parents' money. Fuck off. This is my updated shoe collection. I'm not gonna show any shoes I showed in the last one because that'd be pointless and boring. So these are all like fairly new shoes. Unfortunately, I haven't bought any Yeezys or NMDs. So again, if you came to see that shit, then just fuck off. I don't wanna hear about it. Fuck Yeezys. So, starting off, we've got these Adidas Special Special. These are like an indoor football or futsal shoes. I think they are fucking sick. The green color is just beautiful. They're just like a better, 10 times better Stan Smith. Super nice with the gum sole. I can only recommend these shoes, 60 quid. Can't really, can't really go wrong. But then again, as I've mentioned earlier, these Adidas Special shoes, they do have a fucking shit reputation in some countries, which is fair enough, but um, I've got the black ones as well. Again, really big fan of these. I think these are sick. They're kind of just a different take on a black shoe. They go with pretty much everything. Again, they're 60 quid, so you can't really, can't really go wrong in that sense. And last pair we've got from Adidas are the Adidas Campus. Fair enough, they're just simple. They're very low key. I mean, they're not like my favorite shoes, but they are literally just a pair of navy shoes. They don't really work, 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 work with a lot of stuff I do or I have in my wardrobe, so I don't really tend to wear them. So, bruh. I probably shouldn't put fucking shoes on my table, but who gives a fuck? <laughs> now, for some fucking reason, I didn't have any more space on the memory card. So now I have to pack all this shit together and back down, take it back up and then show it to you guys. So I fucking hope you're happy. Fuck memory cards. So I guess, you know, starting from the beginning, um, these are my Adidas shoes. And then moving on to uh, uh, Nike or uh, Nike. I've got a pair of Nike. Nike Flyknit Racers. Very simple, just like running or gym shoes. Did you get that? Did you catch that? Running shoes. Go follow my sneaker account. Running shoes. Best sneaker stuff out there. Literally shits on everyone. Fuck Soul Supplier, fuck High Beast Kicks. It's running shoes. I'll just give you five seconds to go follow it. Thank you. That's the best decision you'll take in your life. Now, next up, we've got the Nike Air Force One. This is a, a shoe I used to hate. The only reason why I actually bought these shoes was because I shot the Bloom lookbook. Thank you everyone for buying the Bloom stuff. It really does mean a lot to me, and without you guys, I couldn't do any of this shit. So, thank you. I bought these for the Bloom lookbook, and it's always been like a shoe I've been like, uh, fuck Air Forces. They're like a basic white girl shoe, which they are. But they're actually surprisingly nice. They go with a lot of different trousers. You can have them with like crop trousers, puddling trousers, everything. They've got a sick structure. They go with everything. Everyone is saying like white people can't jump. Please. Mate, when I wear these, I am breaking ankles and I'm breaking necks. Now moving on to the Vans. I've only got one pair of Vans. I've got a pair of Vans OG classic slip-ons. I threw out my um, black slip-ons and I bought these instead. 25 pounds in a sale, so very, very good, very cheap. I've worn them like once, but I'll definitely get more wear of them when the weather gets better. Can't go wrong. They're just Vans. Just Vans. Converse. 
the most uncomfortable shoe ever made to mankind. I wore these bad boys for seven days at a festival and I've never had so many blisters in my whole life. Straight up. I guess there goes my Converse sponsorship, but you know, honestly, Converse shoes are fucking uncomfortable. They get better like the more you wear them, but the moment you put them on and you walk for like an hour, mate, you literally want to slit your own throat. You want to hang yourself. This shit is bad. I like my blisters have blisters. But yeah, this color, sick color. I think these are called the Converse All Star 1970s. Chuck Taylor Sunflower. I don't know. Color is really nice. They've got that very nice mustard color and they're fine now, like comfort wise, but it's just those first wears. So bad. Another pair of Converse is the Converse One Star. I wore these to a festival and they are pretty fucked up now, but that's how they should be. People who like wear their shoes and they go home and clean them first thing, like never wear their shoes, just need to fuck off. Like you guys storing sneakers in like glass montrays or glass cabinets, never wear them. You need to check your brains. Fair enough if you buy stuff, resell immediately. But buying stuff and just never wearing it or like tiptoeing and never really actually wearing your shoes, I can't do that shit. I buy stuff and I wear it. And I think that's the beauty. Dirty shoes is always good because it shows personality, it shows you wear stuff. It's just better than wearing these fucking brand new, super clean shoes, in my opinion. So, brock it, don't stock it. Moving on, I got these shoes of my flatmate. Hide your grandmother, hide your grandkids. Your boy is coming. Filadi loafers, pretty solid. I am yet to wear these outside the house because they are fucking uncomfortable. Overall, there's something different. It's something where you really have to change your outfit just to be able to wear these shoes. But it's like a good test, I'd say. I have no idea how to wear these yet, but I'll hit up my, my boy Blondie and then he'll teach me how to wear loafers. So, uh, bell me, brother. Honestly, sick shoe. I have to like wear these properly, but one day. One day when your grandmother is missing, do you know where she is? And last, but definitely not least, probably one of my newest pickups. These shoes are from JW Anderson. I think they're called something like double lace, Acclid something They're called low canvas trainer sick JW Anson six shoes these have like a double lacing on them So two loops going down. They're like a mixture between DM and Balenciaga really really sick shoe Super fucking uncomfortable, but they look really nice 210 pounds. I think in a sale so not horrible, but it's still expensive for a shoe. I love them. I think they're super sick. But I do appreciate that some people might be like, why are you wearing these fucking school shooter shoes? Mind your own damn business, my friend. Solid shoe. Go fuck yourself. That's it. That is my shoe or sneaker collection, whatever you want to call it. The most important part for me is that you've got something for every kind of color. You've got some black shoes, you've got some light shoes, some colorful shoes, blue shoes, black shoes, smart shoes. There's a bit of everything and I think that's the most important part. There's no point in having 10 pairs of black shoes because then it's like, what are you doing, mate? What the fuck are you doing, mate? So buy different shoes for different occasions get like the whole color spectrum instead of just wearing like night air force every day but uh, i don't know maybe you like that i just think it's boring apart from all the lesbian comments maybe if you could comment down below which shoe is your least favorite like which one is the ugliest fucking shoe i've got and uh, then maybe i'll get back to some of you guys if you avoid calling me a lesbian but it's not gonna happen so have a good night i hope you feel happy and i hope you have a good Wednesday tomorrow.